Hey guys, um, this is a video on multiplying mixed numbers. Previously we were multiplying just a fraction times a fraction or a fraction times a whole number. Um, as a reminder, those problems look something like 6 25ths times 5 ninths. And we would always try to do some cross simplifying. So we would look at this and go, well, hey, I can do 6 divided by 3 and I can do 9 divided by 3. So this would become 2, and this one would become 3. Going the other way, we should recognize both of these can be divided by 5. That becomes 1. This one becomes 5. Okay. Uh, once we've simplified everything we can, again, only simplifying a number on top with a number on the bottom, we're going to multiply straight across, and that would give us an end answer of 2 fifteenths. Uh, just double checking. Nope, we can't simplify that at all. That's our final answer. So that's a reminder of what we've previously done. Now we're going to add in mixed numbers. So we've done fraction times fraction and fraction times whole numbers. Reminder that we always put a 1 underneath our whole number. Um, so the first problem I want to start with is going to be 2 and 2 thirds times 12. Okay, so if we were rewriting this, um, the extra added step in multiplying mixed numbers is that you need to make your mixed number into an improper fraction. Reminder, we do that by taking the denominator, multiplying it by the wholes, and adding the numerator. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8 thirds times 12 over 1, because that's what we do with our whole numbers. Then it just turns into, okay, what can we cross simplify? Uh, we can never simplify a 1, that's as simple as it gets, but if we look at 3 and 12, hopefully you think, hey, we can divide both of those by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, 3 divided by 3 is 1, then we're going to multiply straight across, so this becomes 8 times 4 is 32 over 1 times 1, but that's improper, so our final answer would just be 32, ignoring the glare from the ceiling lights. So, we took the improper, I'm sorry, we took the mixed number, we made it improper, and then we used the same rules of multiplying as we do when we work with fractions. So, for this next problem, I'm going to have you guys pause the video, and then see if you can solve it. Okay, and then you can join again. Uh, but this is going to be 3 and 1 fifth times 1 and 3 fourths. Okay, so if you want to pause it here, or else you can keep watching. Um, give me a moment. Step one is rewriting as an improper fraction. So 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16 fifths, times 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7 fourths. Okay. We're going to check first cross simplifying here. Okay, we cannot simplify 5 and 7. Those are both prime numbers. We can divide 4 and 16 by 4, though. So we get 4 here and 1 here. Now we can multiply straight across. 4 times 7 is 28 over 5 times 1 is 5. Now we have another added step where we just need to make this improper fraction into a mixed number. And we do this by dividing 28 divided by 5. 5 can go into 28 5 whole times, subtract 25. So we would say that this is 5 and 3 fifths. Okay, because it went in 5 whole times, we had a remainder of 3, and we're dividing by 5. Next, I'm going to give you a couple problems. Feel free to pause and solve, and then we can kind of come back and check them. I'm not going to walk through this one, but the first problem would be 20 times 2 and 1 half. Okay, the next problem will be 14 times 1 and 1 sixth, and then 2 and 5 eighths times 4 and 4 sevenths. Okay, so I want you to pause it here and see through, if, see if you can go through and solve those. Uh, I'm going to solve them silent, silently and just see if your work matches mine. So pause here. I'm going to start solving them quietly in a moment and we'll be able to compare answers.
So if you're unpausing and you're back at this point, you can see for the first question, I got an answer of 50. For the second question, I got an answer of 16 and one third. And for the last question, I got an answer of 12. Uh, feel free to pause and kind of take a look at what I cross simplified and my improper fractions here. Um, make sure you have the correct improper fractions. Make sure you cross simplified correctly. And these should be your answers. Any questions, let me know.